Hello, and welcome to another Nick Gay video. A new update has just dropped, and I'm going to explore what is new. Please leave a like and a sub, and I hope you enjoy the video. So first things first is there's a brand new 7 day login bonus. It should already pop up as soon as you come in here, but if not, you go to the top left and click on the banner there, and it says daily login Digicat Adventures, 13 days to basically complete this whole thing. And it pretty much you just have to go make sure to log in and look at this. You don't have to collect it every day. You know, it's up to you if you want to collect it, but... Pretty much just make sure to log into the game, look at it, because you do, you do happen to get gems, uh, something for your profiles here, a bunch of resources, bond boosts, and also tickets at the end. So just make sure to get log in and just collect what you need to get get there. And that's pretty much it. Also, do not forget, too, they also with, you have some maintenance gems, too. So make sure to go to your mail and collect those maintenance gems. So pretty much we got like a pretty good amount of gems right now. Also, as well, there's some brand new pay packages. So if you actually pay for the game, you can go out here under the DRC or Dark Hero and look at all these new pay packages here. You know, if you're not, you, if you don't actually pay for the game or even, you know, if you're free to play, then this doesn't actually concern you. But the, for the people who actually pay, yeah, there's all brand new pay packages um, that pretty much the one half year anniversary, all that stuff left. And now this Dark Hero has already arrived. And now the next thing is going to be in the outpost. There's actually a brand new event archive in the uh, event in the in the event archive. It's called High Tech Toys. And in case you forgot how to get there, you go to the command center here, go inside. As soon as this pops up, you're going to hit at the top under Recollections. You go to the third tab right over here. And under the third tab, you go all the way down. And then we're going to see High Tech Toys there. I believe this was the second event that was released. And there's a brand new Life 2D since originally when, when these events first came out, there was no Life 2D given away for free. And oh, wow, it's a very zoomed up picture of Laplace. Um, hopefully the, the entire Matisse Squad said... Hopefully the entire Matisse squad is also there since pretty much the, the entire squad participates. But either way, um, she looks super cool. She's in her battle outfit there. I can't wait to do this eventually one day. I'm not sure when I'm going to do it, but I will be doing it one day. And also, there's actually one other thing um, that they actually uh, fixed up here is under the advice. Uh, they said that they actually fixed the word bonded when you're going through this advisory here. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they did, but... Yeah, some of some of the the miscellaneous updates were saying they did something with the bonded. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, it looks the same to me, but um, yeah, maybe they did something different there. All right, now next up, we're gonna be looking at the brand new SSR Nikkei that just got released right now with this new update. It's gonna be the one, the only, the Feet Queen herself, Troni. And just like with all featured units, you do happen to have a 4% chance to get an SSR and a 2% chance to get the SSR unit itself. In this case, it's gonna be Troni. With every single pull, you do happen to get a golden ticket. With every single golden ticket, I mean, with 200 golden tickets, you're able to go ahead and go to the shop and get Trony or any other featured unit immediately. Yeah, she's a cutie pie here. And yeah, if you want to take a look at her, you just click on the screen, go ahead and tap, and we just see what she says. Outside today. Perfect day to stay inside and play some games. Yeah, she's a really nice cutie pie. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of Fee fans in the world, so I'm pretty sure they're going to like that unit as well. Hopefully your pulls go extremely well. All right, not only that, there is a brand new event happening to the game right now, which is called this uh, Dark Hero. Let's check it out really, really quick. All right, the music is pretty good. I mean, I, I like it. it. You know, it's a very uplifting, but also as well, like sort of like gamer fight as well. It sort, it sort of reminds me of, like a lot of gamer music too. Pretty nice, but obviously let's go ahead and look at the flash, the splash screen here. You know, we do happen to see pretty much Electric, electric Shock Squad, you know, it was the Elec and also uh, Trony there in the background. We also do happen to see Exia and Maiden here up in the front. Um, you know, see a bunch of, um, is it Monster is that? A bunch of uh, monster energy drinks all around, you know, some snacks, all that stuff. They're all a bunch of gaming here. And um, and yeah, I do like I do happen to like this splash screen, even though it's not like very interactive and, you know, like like very major. But I do like how everybody has like everybody's just enjoying their time here. Since a lot of times with uh, with Nick Ace, you know, they're either battling or, you know, it's either life or death. So it's very nice to see them just relaxing and having a little bit of fun here. Obviously, Xe is playing the switch there. Um, L leg and Maiden are playing the PS5 and uh, Trony is just there in the background. All right, let's look at who the challenge boss is for today. 
Oh, it is Blacksmith. Okay, not bad. So it's going to be Blacksmith as the boss. And just like how with every single challenge stage here, the the better, the better, farther you go for these stages, the more rewards you get. Where pretty much you start getting core dust as soon as you reach stage 1-4. You get like these, these progression boxes here, which give you a lot of core dust. Obviously, you know, every single time you clear one of these stages, you, have, you happen to do get core dust. But, you know, try to get as far as you can because as soon as you get far... The farthest you get, you pretty much get 25 per day. You get 50 for first clears, but good luck on doing this. It shouldn't be too difficult, but yeah, I mean, Blacksmith, you know, it's not too, too difficult, but I wish you guys the best of luck on that. And now let's go ahead and look at the shop here. And yeah, it's looking like it's a standard stuff. You see advanced crew vouchers, regular regular vouchers, you know, some skill of materials, resources, consoles, stuff like that. Let's look at what the event tries is for today. And it says movie ticket. Movie ticket to the theater version of Arc Rangers. Together, let's shout. Arc Rangers are always right. Um, yeah, so that's what the event try is for this event. And let's look at let's look at the event currency. So it says Arc Ranger special poster. Oh, that looks pretty cool there. I wonder who signed it. It says a special poster given to viewers who have watched Arc Rangers countless times. It has black uh, it has black Arc Rangers autograph. So make sure to keep it well. Pretty cool. Not bad. Looks very nice. Let's go ahead and see who is the reward boost Nick Ace for today. It looks like it's going to be Trony, Diesel, Alec, Exia, Maiden, and Ludmilla. Wow, it's everybody in the front color cover and also Diesel and Ludmilla. And we have Ether, Belorta, and Mahara. Wow, it's a little strange we don't actually have the counter squad in here. Hmm, this is actually one of the first we don't have any of the counter squad. All right, and let's look at the missions here. Where right, let's look at the reward here. Oh, there is Trony here. And it looks like a little bit of Alec here in the bottom left corner. She's holding a PS5 controller that's matching her color scheme. Oh, it looks pretty cute. I can't wait to actually get it whenever we complete the normal mode here. And it looks like it's just a bunch of event currency. And we do actually get this memory film, which you do happen to use to unlock an event archive there. You have to complete the normal mode there. And I don't know if we're going to have another live 2D, but that one looks pretty nice there. And let's look at the background here for the stages. Oh, wow. We see um, Trony there in the background, just completely relaxed with a whole bunch of uh, video games there because his mission complete. Pretty good. We also have some um, some gamer aesthetics here for each of the banners. And looking at the bottom here, we do happen to see the Black Arc Ranger helmet there. And we have a PS5 controller on the hard mode there. All right. I'll, t I'll, I'll be doing these a little bit later. I won't do them right now. I just want to go ahead and see what they were. All right, and that was pretty much it that came with the update. I know it's not a lot, a lot, since we did have the one and a half anniversary just come by not long ago. That's why it seems very light now. But there's, a, they are a few things coming in a little bit later, just so you know. First off is going to be Union Raid. That's going to happen on the May 17th to the 22nd. Where luckily they did already happen to release their lineup. I'll go ahead and just put that on the screen now, so you guys can see what the lineup. I think the most difficult of those would probably be the train. But if, if not, I mean Ultra does happen to. You know, provide some difficulty if you don't happen to have anybody there that can remove those debuffs. If not, also as well, we're going to be having co-op on the 17th as well. It goes from the 17th to the 22nd. And I'm not quite sure who the co-op boss is for right now. I mean, if I happen to see it when it when it's editing, I'll go ahead and put it on the screen. But if not, I'm not quite sure who it is. But make sure to do those co-ops since with those co-ops, you, you get broken cores. With those broken cores, you know, you could go ahead. You could go ahead and get jams, resources, all that other stuff. I mean, just make sure to participate on those co-ops because, you know, even if you're not strong, um, people will carry you no problem. All right, that's pretty much it. How I said already, it's, it's a very light update. Um, yeah, since we just came from the one half anniversary, but I can't wait to play this event and also try out Trony as well. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed the update and hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a like and a sub. I would really appreciate it. All right, I'm Scrub Lord and I'll see you on the next video.